the turtleneck, the dark horse of the wardrobe. It's head turning, versatile, and this functional piece can be paired with pretty much anything that you own. If you don't own one, gentlemen, hopefully this video will convince you. Let's get into it. What's up gentlemen, Trav White here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about internal and external self-development. I've found tons of channels on style, fitness, and grooming, and tons on self-development, but struggled to find one that combined both. So that's what I wanted to do here. If that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button. Today we're covering five ways to style the turtleneck this winter. And the black turtleneck that I'm wearing for all five of these looks is from Men's Warehouse. It's the Joseph Abood brand, but any turtleneck will do. And FYI, all the clothing items will be linked down below in the description. And full disclosure, some of the links might be affiliate links, and I'll be sure to label them appropriately. So thank you for any support on this channel. Let's get into the outfits. So the first look is gonna be an edgy, casual, monochromatic look. This is best worn for a night out socializing on the town if it's pretty chilly. I paired the turtleneck with a black leather jacket with the gold hardware from Boda Skins. I'm also wearing the black distressed denim from Abercrombie, the black low top boots from Thursday Boots, and to top it off, I wore the Blackwood Minimalist watch from Original Grain. It's also a pair of aviators with gold trim to match the jacket hardware. Now this is a little bit of an, a more edgier look. It may be outside some people's comfort zone, but I imagine most of you guys will turn heads all night long with this look, so definitely give it a try. So the second look is pretty much the same as the first, except I swapped out the Boda Skins leather jacket for a camel top coat. This one's from Southern Gents. And I really enjoy top coats because they're a little shorter and lighter weight than an overcoat, which makes it the perfect stylish option to wear in Austin, Texas, where I live. And I also swapped out the black lace boots from the first look for a pair of Chelsea boots from Thursday again. I also added in this duffel weekender bag from Moral Code to carry any gym clothes or anything I need to work remotely. So camel and black are two of my favorite colors to combine. Fall, winter is the perfect time to do it. The third look really paints a picture of the mileage you can get from a turtleneck. You can dress it down in a leather jacket as you saw before, but you can also dress it up with a suit just like I did with this made to measure suit from Indochino. Most any color suit would work and I imagine most of you guys own you know navy or charcoal gray but something special happens when you combine burgundy with black i don't know it stands out really nicely most other men who wear suits probably won't be wearing a burgundy suit they probably won't be wearing a turtleneck either so once you combine the two i just feel like this outfit will help you stand out while also giving off an effortless style appeal this is a great kind of dressy dinner party outfit if you swap the turtleneck for a white or a light blue button down this can also be a great interview outfit as well. The other awesome thing about burgundy is that you can break up the suit and wear trousers and or the jacket as you know suit separates and bring in different pieces so you can get a lot of mileage from a burgundy suit especially during the fall winter with those dark earthy colors. Moving on to the fourth look. Actually the fourth and fifth look can almost be combined into one because the only difference is really a denim jacket versus no jacket. If there's one item I would argue that's more versatile than jeans, then it would definitely be a pair of gray flannel trousers as you see in this outfit, simply because it's slightly more elevated on the formality scale than jeans, but can also be dressed down just like jeans can. So I think an odd trouser is one of those pieces that shows you're a guy who pays attention to the details as opposed to a lot of men whose daily uniform is like a jeans and a button down type thing. But we take that same elevated casual trouser look and combine it with the turtleneck and it just it becomes a real Really nice outfit. For the footwear for this look, I opted to go back to the ones I had for number one and grab those low top black lace boots from Thursday Boots. So that's all the looks guys. These are all five. Again, the goal for all of these outfits is the ability to be interchangeable. The more you can maximize the mileage of each piece, the less you have to spend and the more you can focus in on quality and finding the best pieces for you. So let me know what you thought of these looks down in the comment section. If you're looking for another video about fall winter check out this one i just posted seven fall winter essentials that every guy needs i also have a free ebook you can download on my website it's about how to dress for your body type it's free for you and the link is in the description so i will talk soon 
Stay stylish, gents, and peace.